Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to uh, another series of Java programming and in this series I would like to explore a little bit uh, with graphics and using the OpenGL uh, API and I would like to do that together with Java FX so for that we need to import two sets of libraries one is the Java FX library, so we can utilize Java FX. And the other one is uh, uh, which I would like to use, which is very common to use for OpenGL and Java, is of course the Java Lightweight ga Game Libraries. And uh, um, so it's going to be an interesting venture because I'm going to install both libraries in the same program so that I can use both libraries. I did a bit of research, of course, and we can do that all manually and import all those things, but it's just a nuisance. And also, if we want to make an application later that's going to be a runnable application or a clickable application or an EXE, it is actually better just to start off using Maven. So I am going to use Maven, and I'm going to import the JavaFX libraries. So if you haven't already, you should go ahead and install JavaFX so that Eclipse can uh, utilize the libraries and also utilize FX. So if you go and watch the videos that I've done for installing the JavaFX and using it with Eclipse, then uh, you will be where I am now. And uh, uh, you can then follow along. And if you have done so, well, um, let's cr crack it and go ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, just create a new, a brand new workspace, and I'm just going to call this Java, oh, Java FX underscore OpenGL, just like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to open Eclipse. <coughs> and then here we're just going to go browse, and it's on the desktop. And there it is, uh, Java FX and OpenGL, and I'm going to select that folder, and I'm going to click on Launch. And then we we'll just wait for everything to catch up there, all nicely caught up there. I'm going to close the welcome screen because we don't need it, and I do like the dark, uh, the dark uh, version of this, so I'm going to go to Preferences and uh, we're going to go to general and we're going to go to appearance and i'm going to select dark i'm going to apply and it's going to ask us to restart so let's restart it just wait for everything to catch up there we go. Uh, you can see that that is all now loaded up and caught up, and it's the dark version uh, of that, which I like. So um, it's just easier for me to read and doesn't make my eyes are tired because I find the white sort of a bit glaring. So here we go, and the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to create the beginning of our project, which uh, we need to create a new, and it's not going to be a Java project. We're going to click on Other. It is not going to be Java FX like I've done before, so it's now going to be a Maven. Maven is default in Eclipse, so you should have that there. So and then we're going to go to a Maven project. We're going to select the Maven project and click Next. There we go. And we are not going to create a simple project. I'm going to um, uh, use an artifact, okay? And you'll just follow along it'll become more and more clear if you don't know anything about Maven what an artifact is. So I'm just going to click Next. So um, this is where we select our archetypes, our artifacts, <laughs> archetype, <coughs> pardon my uh, language. So I'm just going to click in here and look for FX. And there we go, there we've got FX, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm just going to use a Java FX archetype simple. That's all we're going to do for now. And I'm going to click next. 
and then here we've got to name the project so I'm going to just say uh, lightweight game library FX that's going to be our project this is just uh, ray.org so you can put anything in there that you like um, so this is just what your project's going to be called and this is just what your packages will be called so just remember that and uh, then we're going to click the mighty finish button and there we go our programs coming in it gives us one warning but I'm not going to be too worried about that for now so we're just going to open that and then we're going to go into source main and we're going to go here to our package and we're going to click on the application right click on the application and then we're going to go down to run as and you'll see there's lots of run as possibilities now because we did use the maven but we're just going to run it as an application as a java application just to test it because we want to make sure that it's working so there we go our fx window has come up it says hello java fx 13 running on java 11.0.12 so that's basically just what it says so if we just open that application there that's basically our stage and that's the warning we have and there we have our java fx and we can of course manipulate it i don't think if we can now just press the play button yeah, I don't think there is a heading there, so we can just go ahead and put our heading in, and it's going to be stage and stage dot set title. It's just going to be a string. Oh, I just want more string in there, and I'm going to say uh, open GL window for now we can say whatever we want to call that later so if we run that now um, boom. okay just okay that's fine so there we've got our heading now of our OpenGL window which is actually not right because it's not the OpenGL <laughs> window it is the Java FX window isn't it Java FX window and I want to just put that in there because when we start um, programming the uh, um, building the uh, um, OpenGL window, we are of course going to run it on a different thread, and uh, we don't want to call it Java FX window. We want it to be called the OpenGL window, so we know the difference between the two windows. So there we go. We've got our Java FX window, and it says all that. I'm just going to go straight now and what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to create a button so we're just going to come over here and we say var button and equals new button and I'm just going to say start start for now to make it all very simple and here I'm just going to import the button Java FX scene control. It's not the button Java AWT. It is changed to button Java FX scene control because we're using the Java FX. So our button's in there. And uh, oops, I just want to take that out and put it up here because I want to stick it into our scene and I can't do that if I instantiate it before our scene. So let's just go back over there and do that and uh, instead of the label I'm just going to put the button there we go and now if we run that window now we should just have the button I'll leave the other um, so we have start nothing happens yet because in the next video we will just make that uh, uh, startable button well let's do it in this video because it's not going to take that long is it now let's do it in the next video I think that uh, uh, is much better so we have things a little bit sort of like organized so in the next video what we'll do is is uh, we will uh, just make that button work so it does something and then we will start to work on the next lot of libraries that we need to import now that's going to be quite interesting because it's not all that straightforward um, in one way it is because we are using maven and in another way um, well it just helps to know a little bit what's going on and I guess that's also why you're watching the video so you can find that out so 
I hope this was useful. I hope you got here okay. If you didn't, please leave comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, with a series, I'll try and make a video at least once a week, so please be patient. Uh, I am a very busy person. I've got two other jobs going, uh, young baby stuff. Life is full. So, uh, happy coding!